Welcome to the case study course. My name is Kieran Doe. I'm a senior tutor at ACA Masters. When I sat the case study exam myself, I won the ICAW prize for the highest score in the world. Several of my students have also won prizes from ICAW for their performance in the case study exam. And I look forward to teaching you how to achieve this level of success in your final ACA exam. So the way the course is structured is I will firstly teach you the exam technique to use in your case study exam. And I'll do this with a practical demonstration on how to approach each requirement. So we'll take it one requirement at a time. So we'll begin with requirement one and I will teach you how to interpret the requirement wording how you should use the information in the exam paper and analyze the information, both the financial, non-financial information and also the narrative. So I'll teach you how to use that information and how you should structure your appendix, the type of numbers you should calculate, the way you should lay it out. And I'll show you how to structure your report, both in terms of the sections to have in your report and also the type of points to include and how you should write those points, as well as the number of points to include for each section. So I'll cover every section of the requirement, including the executive summary. I'll then refer to the marking key so that I can demonstrate how this approach will ensure that you score close to 100% on the requirement. So after I have taught you the exam technique to use by working through a requirement, you then need to go away and practice this exam technique so you can master this exam technique in the same way that I have. So I'll be working through a mock exam from the November 2022 case study in order to demonstrate how you should approach the exam. After the class, you can then go away and practice the same question. You can also go away and practice the exam technique to use for this requirement using our other mock exams which will be available to you. So after you've seen me work through a requirement one in full and demonstrate the technique to use, you can then go away and practice applying that technique using our three mock exams for that case study business. You can also use the actual ICAW exam, so the real exam for November, 2022. So you can go away and practice four requirement ones, one after the other, so you can practice that exam technique that I have just taught you during the class. And this will enable you to master your exam technique for each requirement one at a time. So I will teach you the exam technique to use for requirement one. And then immediately after, you go away and practice that exam technique so you can answer case study exam questions in the same way that I did. And you'll be able to practice that using mock exams and the actual ICAEW exam. So of course, in order to practice these past mock exams, you'll need to have some familiarity with the advanced information. So the full advanced information document is available on the ICAW website. But to help you with this, you'll also have access to our AI analysis summary document. So you've got the key points for each exhibit summarized here, full analysis of the management accounts, 
and you know explanations of all of the key points and key calculations and how they are likely to be used in the exam. In addition, you will also have access to my AI analysis video classes where I'll be working through the AI in full, analyzing each exhibit, explaining how and where it's going to be useful in the exam. So whilst you will need to have some familiarity with the advanced information before attempting the past case study mock exams, you will have plenty of resources available to support you with that. My AI analysis videos, our AI analysis documents, and our pro forma reports as well for that case study business. And what this will enable you to do is it will enable you to master your exam technique before your actual live AI is out. So this is all work that you can do before the release of your live advanced information. And then of course, we'll do the same thing for requirement two. We'll then have a class on requirement two where I work through requirement two in full again, demonstrating the exam technique you should use, so how you should read and interpret the requirement, how you should use the exam paper information, how you should structure your report and the type of points you should include in each section of your report. So I'll be showing you exactly what you should be including you know, in your answer and demonstrating this in full. And again, I'll be going through the marking key showing you how to ensure that you score close to 100%. So I'll be teaching you the exam technique to use. I'll be demonstrating the exam technique to use. And then after the class, you need to go and practice that exam technique that I taught you. And again, you can do this by using the recent mock exams to then go and practice four requirement twos, one after the other. So you can just keep practicing that exam technique until you become as efficient as I am in answering case study exam questions. Again, you'll have the marking keys available to you. You'll have my model answers available to you so you can compare your answer to my answer so you can see exactly how and where you need to improve. And you'll also have access to all of my debrief videos on those mock exams, which are packed full of useful hints and tips for each requirement. So once you have mastered the exam technique for each requirement, you'll then be ready for when your live advanced information is released. So then, just as I have with all of the other case study exams, we'll have a class where I work through your live advanced information relevant for your case study exam. I'll be working through the advanced information, taking it exhibit by exhibit, explaining exactly how each piece of information is likely to be useful in the exam. I'll be analyzing the numbers, explaining the key points to be aware of, and we'll be retaining an exam focus throughout. So I'll be explaining exactly where each point of information is likely to be useful in the exam. We'll then finish off where I give some examples of some potential exam scenarios and tell you the type of points you should in consider including in your answers. So we summarize all of the key points by exam scenario and I explain how they are likely to be useful in the exam. And of course, the fact that you have some familiarity with the recent exams, having done this preparatory work, means that you'll be very familiar with the structure of the advanced information and that's going to kind of help you when we start analyzing your live advanced information. Of course, after the live advanced information is released, we will then prepare our mock exams based on the live advanced information relevant 
to your case study business. And these will be available to purchase from the case study page of our website. And then of course, there will be debrief videos on each of those mock exams. So again, will they be looking at the mock exams for your live case study business? And again, I'll be doing the same as I did in those earlier classes. I'll be explaining exactly how you should have read and interpreted the requirement, how you should have used the exam paper information and parts of the advanced information in your analysis. And I'll be explaining exactly what you should have included in each section of your report. And I'll be referring to my model answer so that I can demonstrate exactly how you should have structured each point in your answer in order to score a top prize winning mark. So again, we'll do this for every requirement and every mock exam. So to recap, the course will begin by teaching you the exam technique to use for case study. And this is generic for all case studies. So both your case study and also the recent case study businesses. So I'll be teaching you the exam technique to use for each requirement, one requirement at a time. You then need to go away and practice this exam technique so that you can produce a report similar to mine so that your exam technique becomes as competent and as efficient as mine. And then once you've mastered your exam technique, which is the most important part for case study, we can then apply that to your live case study business. And we'll do this by working through the AI and the fact that you're very familiar with the exam technique to use, the way the exam papers are structured, the way the AI is structured, you'll then be able to analyze your AI in a much more effective and exam focused way. And then we'll work through the mock exams relevant to your case study business. And the fact that you've already mastered your exam technique will make this so much easier because you will simply be applying this exam technique that you've learned to your specific case study business. But all of the hard work really was done at this stage, understanding what the case study exam involves, the way the case study exam is marked, the type of points you need to include under each section. So all of this work can actually be done in advance of your AI being released. And that will give you such a head start so that when your live AI comes out, all we are doing is applying this exam technique to your case study business. And of course, we're going to spend a huge amount of time on your live case study business. We're going to have a full class on the AI where I take it exhibit by exhibit, explaining how each piece of information is likely to be useful in the exam and where it's going to be used in the exam. And then working through the mock exams for your case study business. So I can show you exactly how you should interpret the requirements, how you should analyze that exam paper information, how you should structure your appendix, how you should structure your report, the type of points you should include in each section, the number of points you should include in each section, the way you should manage your time in the exam, you know, where to focus, uh, the types of points to include, the calculations to include, etc. So I'll be demonstrating that in great detail, how to apply that for your case study business using our mock exams relevant to your case study business. So by having a thorough understanding of the exam, technique to use for case study, the exam technique, which has resulted in both me and my students winning ICAW prizes. 
and then applying that to your case study business, you will then also be in a position where you too can achieve incredibly high levels of success in the case study exam and hopefully join our growing list of prize winners. So I very much look forward to teaching you how to ace each part of the case study exam.